It has always been challenging for me to figure out what I'm really interested in, but since the COVID-19, I got significantly affected by the restraint caused by the current pandemic situation and it somehow inspired me. So from now on, I'm going to take you to the whole journey of my work for this year about the where this inspiration led me to. This is the first place that I got to. With the inspirations, these are the first things that pop up in my head. They are important sources of my work, their motives, and the basis of my project. Likewise, I have developed my work based on this. As we know, due to the COVID-19, we have to quarantine ourselves when we travel abroad. So when I went back home, I had to quarantine and I could have only used social media to get some news of others. It may sound like social media is the only platform for us during quarantine and lockdown, but we cannot deny that it has become even a bigger part of our life, especially these days. During quarantine, I realized that the addictiveness and dependence of us on social media gave us negative and harms in our mental health. So I decided to work on the psychological effects of social media on us. First thing I found was this book, Selfie. This book talks about the relationship between social media and annual suicide rate among users and such consequences as eating disorder and self-criticism. This is because they lose their self-confidence by comparing them to the others like celebs in social media and it tends to have a great, greater influence on teenagers than on adults. Other than the book, I also got inspired by these two videos. The first one is Social Dilemma. It talks about how much people are sucked into social media these days, how addicted we are. Also, it goes behind this and talk about people are also being used as a good of marketing because they are produced advertisements based on our Google history. The second documentary is called Black Mirror and it talks about how much the social media and technology has settled within our lives. This documentary also inspired me because as time so goes by, we get more addicted and rely on social media and technology and during this pandemic we spend more time than usual as we have to stay home. Especially in this current era, the effectiveness of social media can be greater than ever. There are various fake news and rumors that make people buy. For example, there is ridiculous gossip about the 5G cell tower is causing the coronavirus or some fake news about drugs that can kill coronavirus. Some people believe this news or this, this news and destroy a 5G cell tower. As such, fake news shows extreme example of what happened in the information ecosystem. Social media can easily amplify rumors, making it confusing to know the truth. With regards to this topic, I express people's psychology in an abstract way. I was inspired by Yoho Crew and Darren McPherson's ways of expressing people's emotions. I paint people's psychology when they're being affected by social media and it became an early stage of my project. Since then, I have been inspired by many other artists, Kim Noble, who has a mental illness called multiple personalities. Many of her personalities are painted in different styles. Each of them are known as drawn by different artists. One of her paintings had, had a strong illustration style, which I liked and thought it would be quite nice to do my project in such a way, so I tried it. I use strong and powerful colors to draw explicitly and by painting via illustration style, I express people who are being controlled by an invisible platform social media. So I had the thought of putting my focus and purpose and direction of artwork. Because my paintings are expressing the impact of social media on people, but they do not quite in interpret my willingness that I want to talk about social media as a platform. So after some research, I found an art piece called Imagination by N Nastaya Ptichek using traditional painting with emoji to show how social media changed the way we communicate these days. I was quite surprised and decided to implement his ways on my work, putting alerts, images, and other icons that we can see on social media. 
Afterwards, I came up with an idea to draw two people facing each other, both empty in the middle of their head with text box. This is show the ripple of communication in social media. They're talking but hard to know each other's feelings and faces to understand them because it is drawn empty. I try to express, express the contradiction of communicating through social media by putting their emptiness. Through our several times of development of my project, I built up my drawing style and expression and ended up here. At the final stage, I used illustrate style to draw people. They are physically attached, but their eyes are on their phones, which is the metaphor of communicating through social media. This is to show that millennium's generation are largely exposed by the digital these days and prefer chatting through online rather than a phone call or face to face. I try to tell them a message that keep yourself away from all the digital stuff at least while you're looking at my work. Also as an abstract artist, I wanted to alert them about how we are getting affected by social media and online stuff and how these affect our ways of living by approaching to audience with a critical perspective.